Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this circle with the center O along with this uh, red rectangle A, B, C, D put together as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, this point P is the point of tangency and as a result we get uh, this uh, smaller triangle uh, O, E, F and this uh, larger triangle uh, O, D, C as well. And furthermore, uh, the circumference uh, of this uh, circle has been given to us as uh, 4 pi. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, blue shaded region. This uh, area, this area and this area combined. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step. We know the circumference uh, of this uh, circle has been given to us uh, as 4 pi. And now we are going to calculate the radius uh, of this uh, circle. And now let's recall the circumference of a circle formula. Circumference equals to 2 pi r where this lowercase r is the radius. And we already been given the circumference as 4 pi. So therefore I can write uh, 4 pi equals to 2 pi r. And now I'm going to divide both sides by 2 pi to isolate uh, radius r. We can see this 2 pi and 2 pi is gone. So therefore our radius uh, r turns out to be 2 units. So thus the radius uh, of this uh, circle turns out to be 2. And now let's make an observation. We can see that our this uh, blue shaded area, this whole area, this one, this one, and this one is going to be equal to the area of this uh, big uh, triangle OCD plus the area of this uh, smaller triangle OEF minus uh, the area of this sector O, E, F as you can see in this uh, given equation. So therefore now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, big triangle uh, O, C, D. The area of this smaller triangle uh, O, E, F and the area of this uh, sector O, E, F as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, angle is uh, 90 degrees and this angle is 90 degrees uh, as well since we are dealing with this uh, red uh, rectangle. And now once again let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, AO is the radius of the circle. Likewise uh, OB is radius uh, as well. So therefore uh, this radius is going to be 2 and this radius is 2 as well. And likewise we can see that this uh, BC is uh, equal to the radius uh, of this circle. So therefore uh, this BC length is going to be 2 units as well. And likewise this uh, AD length is going to be 2 units as well. And furthermore uh, this uh, OE is the radius as well. So this is going to be 2 units and likewise uh, this radius uh, is going to be 2 units as well. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, OBC. We know its uh, side lengths are 2 and uh, 2. And now we are going to calculate uh, its uh, hypotenuse uh, OC. So therefore we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here is our Pythagorean theorem A square plus B square equal to C square. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. So our one leg is 2, so it's going to be a 2 square plus the other leg is 2 as well. 2 square equal to our hypotenuse is OC square. I'm going to undo this square by taking the square root uh, on both uh, sides. So therefore our this uh, OC length uh, turns out to be 2 times uh, square root of 2 units. So therefore our this uh, OC length turns out to be 2 times square root of 2 and likewise uh, this other side uh, OD is going to be 2 times uh, square root of 2 as well. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, OAD and we can see this is an isosceles triangle since this uh, side length uh, equal to this uh, side length. 
and moreover we know that this angle is 90 degrees so therefore uh, this angle has got to be 45 uh, degrees and this angle is going to be 45 uh, degrees uh, as well and likewise let's focus on this uh, other triangle uh, OBC and we can see that this is an isosceles triangle as well since uh, this side length uh, equal to this side length and we know this angle is 90 degrees so therefore this angle has got to be 45 degrees and likewise this angle is 45 degrees as well and now let's make an observation we can see that this whole uh, straight angle is going to be 180 degrees and we know that this uh, angle is 45 degrees and this angle is uh, 45 degrees as well so therefore uh, this remaining angle has got to be 90 degrees so therefore we are dealing with these uh, right triangles and now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, big uh, right triangle uh, OCD and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times base uh, times height and in our case for this triangle this uh, OD is the base uh, and this is uh, 2 times square root of 2 and likewise this is the height that is going to be 2 times square root of 2 as well so therefore the area of this uh, triangle is going to be a half times 2 times square root of 2 and then times uh, 2 times uh, square root of 2 as well and if we simplify everything on the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 4 so thus the area of this uh, big right triangle OCD turns out to be 4 square units and now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, smaller triangle uh, OEF and we are going to use the very same area of a triangle formula and we can see the base of this uh, triangle is 2 and likewise the height uh, is 2 as well so therefore the area of this triangle uh, OEF is going to be a half times uh, 2 times uh, 2 and if we simplify that is going to give us uh, 2 and now we are going to calculate the sector OEF we are going to calculate uh, this whole uh, sector OEF and now let's recall the sector area formula area equals to angle theta divided by 360 degrees times pi r square where r is the radius and in our case uh, our angle theta is uh, 90 degrees and the radius uh, is uh, 2 so therefore uh, the sector area is going to be 90 degrees uh, divided by 360 degrees uh, times uh, pi times our radius is uh, 2 whole square and now we can see 90 degrees divided by 360 degrees reduces to 1 divided by 4 and here 2 square is 4 so therefore I can write uh, 1 divided by 4 times uh, 4 pi and if we simplify that is going to give us uh, pi and now let's recall the equation once again blue shaded area equals to the triangle OCD area plus triangle OEF area minus the sector OEF area and we already figured out uh, all those uh, values so therefore let's go ahead and fill in the blanks so we got uh, 4 plus uh, 2 minus uh, pi and if we simplify that is going to give us uh, 6 uh, minus uh, pi so thus the area of this uh, blue shaded region turns out to be 6 minus pi square units and that is going to be approximately equal to 2.86 uh, square units as well Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.